Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part and welcome to my extreme cleaning motivational video. We had been gone for four days and my parents came over to stay at the house and watch our boys, the fur babies if you're new here. And then my sister and her husband and two daughters came in town for Mother's Day and we missed not getting to see them but it was super nice that we were able to host them. So I told them don't do a lot of cleaning, don't take the sheets off the bed, I'm going to do a cleaning video for my people so if you're needing like a whole house cleaning video or extreme motivation this is the video for you um, we literally came in brought in all of our luggage and I got straight to cleaning the house so we would have clean bedding to sleep in that night Real quickly, I wanna to talk to you about the Redecor app. I've mentioned this in a past video and I love this. It's on my phone, it's on my daughter's phone, my niece's phone, but Redecor is a free to download and free to play home decorating game, which offers players a chance to get creative and competitive daily design challenges, which are really fun. But you can also go and like vote on other people's designs and it earns points or money as well. Um, they have lots of variety of materials to choose from, like wallpaper, upholstery, uh, throws, pillows, floors, all stuff like that. Um, and it's available on the App Store and Google Play Store. So don't forget to download the app free to your phone. I promise you, you're gonna love it. I love having it on my phone. I'll have that link down below in my description box for you to click on. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. I like to compare like what I do with someone else's style because it makes me more creative and it gives me ideas when I'm actually like using it in real life. So thanks again to Redecor for sponsoring this video, but now let's get back to cleaning. So typically the first thing I would do when I would come home is start all of our laundry from the trip. But since we had um, family stay at our house, I wanted to get all of our sheets done first. So I typically like just having one set of sheets so I get them clean and then when we put them on the bed, they're just so nice and fresh and warm and smell good. But I went ahead and ordered second sheets for all of our beds after this experience because trying to get them clean and back on the beds before we left for our trip and then doing it when we first got back home, it was a lot of work. So I still like cleaning the sheets same day, but it's nice to have a backup for when people are staying at our house. So I got those ordered. But like I said, we're gonna work on the sheets first because I want clean sheets to sleep in. We have missed our beds from being gone staying at a hotel. So it'll be nice to crawl on these sheets when I'm done. Since all of our bedding is the same color, I'm gonna actually wash it all together so it's just one load since I have so much other laundry to get done from the trip and it's not that big. Since it's just sheets, it won't take up that much space. And then I'm actually not even touching the guest bedroom um, on this particular day because no one sleeps in there anyway, so I have more time to get those washed on a different day. So after a few hours of being home, my parents actually sent me a video and I'm gonna share that with you real fast and they created this for me while we were gone. So they all thought it was so funny sending that to me. I actually found a few things under my sofa after that that they didn't find, but my nieces loved making that and so did my family. And I swear I've watched that thing over and over. If you follow me over on Instagram, you already saw that video. And if you don't, you definitely should. If you have an account, um, I'll leave my link down below in the description box, but I'm a little more active over there every single day if you wanna stay up to date with what's going on. If you're new here or not caught up in all my videos, my last video was actually packing tips and hacks. 
So if you're taking a vacation at all this summer, whether you're driving or flying, I put tons and tons of tips and hacks into that video that you definitely need to check out. So when we came in, I had everybody drop their luggage right here in the mud room, and I like to Lysol it all. So I'll show you here in a second how I Lysol it, but you can just use wipes, you can use the spray, but I wanted to get them wiped off before I took them into everybody's bedroom um, so that they could start unpacking. So this front closet is actually a coat closet, but we don't really use it. And when guests come over, I feel like they don't really use it either. So I finally just put all of Savannah's dance stuff in there and it worked out really well because when we were gone on vacation, then everybody staying in our guest bedroom didn't have like tons of dance stuff in the closet and it really is the perfect space. So that's why I'm hanging everything up in here. I still have extra hangers in this closet. So if guests come over and want to hang up their jacket or whatever they're wearing, but it still functions as both, but it's nice just having all her dance stuff in one area. I'm not gonna lie, I cannot even count how many loads of laundry I did that first day we came home. I just don't like dirty clothes setting that have been in like hotel rooms and all of that. Plus we needed to get our bedding done. So I stayed up really late, but when I woke up the next morning, I was just so glad I pushed through and got it all done so I didn't have to worry about it. You'll have to let me know down below in the comments section, are you the same way? Like as soon as I get home, I start unpacking, I start uncleaning, I Lysol, I get all of that done. We even came home once from like Chase's softball tournament and I had actually hurt my ankle and I was on crutches and I literally crawled around my house like unpacking and doing laundry. Like I cannot go to bed until everything's back in its spot. Are you crazy like me? Are you more normal and you just do it over time or the next day or you just live out of your suitcase until everything's put away? Things got so complicated. All I wanted was your love. It is time it should we break it. Since we were staying in a hotel, we took a lot of drinks and snacks and then Savannah also gets like a buddy gift from a friend so she gave her pop and I didn't want to have to worry about carrying it all out like the parking lot wasn't close to the hotel so I was literally just putting it in luggage so we could just wheel it out and you can see right there that's how I like Lysol. I just take the Lysol and spray everywhere around it especially the wheels that have been rolling around. Um, but that's why I'm like unpacking a Powerade from the suitcase. It was just nice to buy all of that up before we left so we didn't have to buy it or leave our hotel when we were down there on vacation.
being gone for four days just I feel like wreaks havoc on the house. Like I couldn't get any laundry done since we were staying in a hotel. Typically when we go on trips I like to find a place that has a washer and dryer because it will save me so much time when I get home. But we were staying like with the studio so we stayed at a hotel. Um, so I just got really behind with the housework and laundry. So it actually felt really good to come home and just get cleaning done and laundry done. That's definitely like my happy space, even though it's like exhausting sometimes. I love just like cleaning all day, taking a shower and going to bed with like wet hair and clean sheets. <laughs> I don't know what it is about it, but I love it. I have flowers up there on my counter that you can see. It was so sweet. I didn't get to see my sister when she stayed here, but um, when we got here, she had left flowers and a card for me for Mother's Day. So I thought that was really sweet and they were beautiful. It was just a fun pop of color in my house, which we never really have, but sometimes it's just nice to have flowers sitting out. We just have to hold on through the night As long as we are watching the I'm not gonna lie, they kept my house pretty clean. I was expecting it to be a lot worse since we had so many people in our house, but you can tell my sister and mom helped me out because my counters weren't that dirty. I know they had like fixed dinner and breakfast here and they didn't leave any evidence. I heard that my dad wanted to leave a lot of like bacon grease out on the countertops for you guys to see me clean. So if you were looking for that, we should have left it. It was his idea, but my mom was like, we are not leaving this house dirty for her to come home to. <laughs> Stand by you when you're falling When the river is calling I said I love you forever We can make it together So I'm typically really bad about just cleaning around the areas where we sit and eat, but sometimes it's nice just to take everything off the table so you can get the whole thing clean. Um, even like wipe down the chairs and stuff. I don't know if I did at this particular time, but I am guilty about just like leaving the placemats on and like picking them up and cleaning underneath. But sometimes it's really good just to take them off, shake them out and then clean it and then put everything back on it. Forever, we can make it together.
I think this white tray right here is my most asked question. I get asked about it all the time. So just in case you're wondering, it came from like a three tier serving set. It was a gift, but I know it came from Sam's, but you guys ask about that tray. Like for the last four years I've been on here, anytime it's in a video, everyone wants to know where it's from. So I try to share it when I see it. Now I'm gonna start cleaning up the living room because I got like the kitchen clean, the dining room clean, the laundry's going, I'm feeling really good about things. Um, that note that was down on the table, I had notes um, so people would know how to use like our TV and sound bar. I don't know if this is for anybody else, but I even did a poll over on Instagram. For some reason, it's so hard to go to somebody else's house and use their TV. I feel like there's so many remotes and different people have like YouTube TV or Hulu or Netflix. I just feel like using someone else's TV is typically so hard to do. So even though we came home from the competition, there were a few more of the older girls that were still performing in groups and we were able to click on it and watch it live. So that's what the talent on Parade is back there. We were still watching some of her other friends from the studio compete. Luckily, my washer and dryer will like notify me on my watch when a cycle's complete. Typically, I don't need to know because I'm doing one load a day, but since I was trying to get so much done, it was so nice that I would know when the dryer was done or the washer was done so there was no like downtime in between. I swear I ran these machines over and over and over all night long getting caught up on laundry. My family was nice and they had all of their towels in the washer for me to start when I got home, but I went ahead and dumped those out and put it in this white laundry basket just so I could get the sheets going. But if you're ever staying at somebody else's house or they're not there, even if they are, it's nice just to throw your dirty towels and washcloths into the washer if it's open and nothing's in there. That way they can just go ahead and get it started when you leave. I normally fold clothes immediately, but I knew I was going to have so much to do. I wanted to go back and finish the living room because we had started that. The only reason I stopped cleaning it is because I had to go switch out the laundry. So when I'm working, especially when I'm trying to get like my whole house clean, I try to stay very laser focused. Otherwise you're bouncing around like crazy. So the only reason I leave the space that I'm cleaning is to go switch out the laundry. And that's just because I have so many loads that need to get done before we go to bed. Just to figure it out. You can tell the boys had a really good time with my family while we were gone. We got the sweetest pictures. They were cuddled up with everybody, but they are exhausted. Now that we're home, they're just like collapsing. Both of them are just passed out. They slept so well that night. So now that the kitchen's clean and the dining room's clean and the living room's clean and all the luggage is put into everybody's bedroom, I'm gonna start putting my items away. Um, I kinda let everybody unpack themselves because Chase knows where his stuff goes. Savannah's old enough that she can unpack herself now. So it really does make it easier versus like when Savannah was little and I'd have to unpack her. Now we just kinda work on our own luggage and put the things in there, you know, where they need to go and how we like them. You got my love, don't let it go. Feels like we're paper thin. 
I did use a few things out of Savannah's bathroom. I took like her hair dryer, so if my mom was getting ready in my bathroom, she had like the better one. So there was just a few things in my bag that kind of belonged in Savannah's bathroom that I had borrowed, so I just went and put those things away for her. Now that my bag's packed, I decided it's time to go ahead and fold this load. I feel like if you fold one load at a time, it's a little bit easier, but if you come in here and it's like piles and piles of laundry, it's really hard to get started. So I was glad I was able to get all of that done and this folded before the next load was finished. You got my love, don't let it go. tell you that I love you 100 times a day you'll get tired of my voice that's how much I'm gonna tell you Okay, so here's a little tip. If you ever take vacations and you love coming home, like I'm a huge introvert. I love being at home. I don't mind going away for like three or four days, but then I wanna get back. I always make sure my favorite pajamas are clean for when I come back because I just cannot wait to crawl on my bed and I wanna be in my favorite pajamas. So I always make sure I start that load and have it at least in the dryer for when I get back home. So that's just a little tip if you ever wanna try it out. It's just nice to come home. I take a full shower, I wash my hair, I clean our sheets if they're not already clean and then I put on my favorite pajamas and I lay in bed that evening. I think I could honestly probably never travel and be content in my home. I will say I'm always glad when we do travel because I love like laying on the beach. It's just always beautiful to look at. Um, there's a few places I do enjoy going, but I am not one of those that can go away for like a week or two weeks. I can do like two vacation max, very max a year. Um, other than that, I just really do love being at home. Now I am putting our sheets on. Um, I will say I've done a video before for um, Bowl and Branch and we got all of their bedding and it is amazing. I don't think I have my coupon code with them anymore. Hopefully I can work with them again one day in the future. Their sheets, it's just something about them. Like they get better every time you wash them. I typically buy really cheap sheets and the more we wash them, they just fall apart. I like rebuy three or four sheets every year because I'm just constantly going through them because I'm buying the cheap ones but I have been so impressed with these how they just get better and better every time we wash them and they just seem to hold up really well
Another thing that I'm really into now that I've never liked are duvet and duvet covers. I've always just had comforters and I wash and dry them as needed, but I am like a changed girl. I love duvet covers. I love that I can wash them just with like the rest of the sheets. So they wash quickly, they dry quickly. I can wash them as often as I do my sheets. Um, I will just say I've never been a duvet girl and you guys have told me about them for years and I'm like, no, 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 I like comforters. I have finally switched sides and I am team duvet and duvet cover. So I didn't make my bed completely, like I didn't put my decorative pillows on there because I knew we would be going to bed shortly, but I did just go ahead and put like the blankets and the throws on there. So it felt really good to have our bed made so I knew when it was time to go to bed, it was ready for us. Um, I was gonna go ahead and go back, switch some more laundry over, and then I'll be heading into Savannah's bedroom so I can make sure her bed's ready to go this evening as well. So you can see right here, I'm making a progress. All of the luggage is put away. The laundry piles are getting smaller. So we are making a progress for sure. Savvy's bed is actually really easy to make. She doesn't use a top sheet, so that's like one whole step. And then she just uses like a white comforter. She doesn't want like a duvet cover on it. She just likes it really simple and really clean. And then she just uses silk pillowcases. I can link those for you. They're actually a really good pair and they just zip at the bottom. Um, they're off Amazon, but she really seems to like those. But now the next thing we're gonna move on to is the floors. And guys, this is like my favorite cleaning gadget that I've ever, ever owned. So it's like a vacuum and a mop all in one. And it really has changed my life in this house. In every other house, I used to mop every single day, but this house just has a lot more tile floors because um, they're even in some of the bedrooms. And so I just couldn't keep up. I feel like I wasn't vacuuming as much and mopping as much. And now that I can do it all in one, I can actually make it happen every day when I want to. We'll be all right, just you and I, singing from the top of a lungs, dancing by the lakeside, kind of do it while we're young. In a moment, it will all be gone. I really enjoy having clean floors. I don't know what it is. I feel like my whole house can be clean, but if I haven't cleaned my floors, it just doesn't feel like I've done it all the way. So I really, really love this Bissell Crosswave. It is not sponsored at all. I've been sponsored by them before, but I kid you not, I use this thing all the time and I swear by it. Like I never thought I would get something like this or would need something like this, but mopping is just a lot of work and I feel like I can cover so much ground so quickly and everything smells amazing. Plus it's so satisfying when you dump out like that dirty water, you see how dirty your floors actually are. Into 
Okay, I'm about to show you a clip real fast. So Savannah walks in right here and she's looking for the camera because she's trying to stay out of the way and then you see her, she spots it. Typically I keep the camera closer to me, but I had to leave that in. I thought it was hilarious. So if I look tired in this scene, it's because I'm 100% like a hot mess. Like we had been at dance comps all day. We had been in the car five hours. I've been cleaning ever since we got home, doing tons of laundry. I feel like you can just see it in my face here. I'm like totally done, but I will not stop. Like until my house is clean, until everything's done, I'll just keep going. It's just my personality and it's always so worth it by the time that I hit the bed. Some kind of magical woman, my love's for real. I need to show you right now. Take a look at me now. I can't explain what I like. I definitely wanted to work on our laundry room floors. For some reason, they're like the dirtiest floors in my house. Probably this is where we like come and leave. Plus we had all of like our luggage in here and dirty laundry. There's still some of it over there, but I wanted to make sure to get these floors clean and disinfected so I didn't have to worry about them. At this point, I started feeling really good because I knew our sheets were clean and on the bed and now all of our towels are clean. So even if I didn't stay up and get all of our clothes done, I knew we could survive. We could take showers, we could get clean, we could sleep, and then I could keep going the next day. But if you guys know me, I kept going. But it is just nice getting to that point of like, okay, we could function now if we need to. Just in case, um, if you're wondering why I'm not putting any detergent in, I actually have a drawer right there at the front of my washer and I can put tons in and it just disperses it out and it will tell me when it needs to be refilled. So if you're like, hey, you're not using any detergent, <laughs> that is why. Now I'm gonna go ahead and fold this laundry and then the very last thing I do once I'm all done and caught up is I take a full shower. So I try to not wash my hair on vacation and this time I definitely didn't have to. I needed to, you can tell right there it needs to be done, but I waited until I got home. I just like to clean my hair and get everything clean, have clean sheets, a clean house, and it's just the perfect way to end a trip. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope it got you motivated to work on your house, or maybe you can turn this on when you get home from one of your trips this summer to keep you going. But if you're new here, don't forget to click that red subscribe button and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with somebody. It definitely helps me out. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.